let me catch you up to speed about everything happening in the real estate market. Now, despite what you heard, we continue to be extremely short on inventory. Now, what does this mean? This means that one, there are not enough properties on the market or being built for the amount of demand in the market, in the GTA market. But furthermore, it also means that everyone has kind of been at a standstill, whether it be sellers at a standstill to put their home on the market or buyers who are just kind of sitting on the sideline trying to decide whether now is the time. Another head-breaking news would be interest rates. And isn't it funny that the first time they decide to hold rates steady, it's crickets. It's literally silent. They never even really came out and said, hey, just so everyone's aware, we're going to be holding off where we are as we're seeing that our strategy is working. I found that to be really disappointing because the fact of the matter is when interest rates are taking a, a, a hike and they're increasing interest rates, they're very opportunistic in making sure everyone knows and really in, instilling more fear in everyone. Rather, when you have good news, it's kind of quiet, which is unfortunate. So let's actually connect the two. The leveling off of interest rates helps to create more certainty and optimism, not only in the real estate market, but in the economy. So this will likely encourage more people, both buyers and sellers, to get into the market and have a more positive result. Now here's some background information, some insider information shall i say me being in real estate and seeing things behind the scenes we've already been seeing a lot of multiple offers mind you they are on specific properties and in specific areas but last week there was a home that had 30 offers at the end of the day something that is super critical to always remember is we live in the gta we do experience a lot of demand and a part of that is because we simply do not have enough housing for the amount of people that we have either immigrating here or literally already here looking for their next opportunity. Now, something I hear from a lot of buyers that I really want to take the opportunity to address is firstly, I'm going to use the chart to help me explain this because I hear a lot of buyers say, you know, I'm waiting for the market to hit rock bottom. And let's just take right here for an example and just use this as an, a simple, a, a simple illustration because I'm very much not saying that this was a rock bottom of any market. But what I am saying is, Anyone who's looking or waiting for the market to hit rock bottom, the only way you'll know when the market hits rock bottom is when the market starts going up. And that's the only way you'll know that this was its lowest point at that time. So the most important thing you can do for yourself is if you are looking to get into the market, get in sooner rather than later, because we are already seeing the market pick up. And it's not about timing the market, it's more about time in the market. So let that kind of settle in for you. So here's a little spring market prediction for you. So here's what I'm predicting. I'm predicting that we are going to see a little bit more inventory and a little bit more action in the market. After all, we have experienced quite a few months of people holding off and just seeing what the market will do. But let's be honest, there were people that sat on the sidelines that needed to get in the market that haven't yet. So I anticipate for the spring market, 
they will make their debut, debut, and come off the sidelines and kind of participate in the market. And that will also help not only our economy, but it will help stabilize our price points. Now, with that said, I don't predict that price points will drastically move in any sort of direction. But what I will say is over the million dollar mark, I think that they'll kind of come down and correct a little bit more, but properties under the million dollar mark are going to be the ones that are really sought after. And that's where you'll see a price differential and maybe even a little bit of a jump in price. So from list price to sold price, maybe you'll see a little bit of a jump there. But in general, I think where we are now in terms of price point, they'll kind of stable off for now. Overall, it appears that we have experienced the majority of the much needed correction to our market and things will kind of stay a little bit more stable and consistent for a little while. And if you are looking to get into the market, I would love to show you the opportunities that are coming up and that are currently on the market that you could take advantage of.